Now, the National Bank Service says it is struggling to meet the nation's blood demand as its blood bank nears empty. The service says, unlike before, fewer people are voluntarily donating blood, a situation that has brought emergency health care to its knees. With a national demand of about 450 units of blood, the service says it is sometimes unable to even supply 10 units of that blood. As the World Man's Blood Donor Day, the service says blood donors are gradually becoming scarce, whereas those that do come only when it's an emergency. Yes, PR of the Ghana Blood Service, Stephen Adaiba. Yeah, the blood bank, I must say, is broke. Uh, we're supposed to have enough you know, blood in stock to be able to supply the hospitals and clinics around us, especially in Accra and its environs. But as I speak with you currently, the situation is very bad. Simply because uh, voluntary donation nowadays is, 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 is nothing you know, to write home about. People are not coming out you know, in their numbers to donate blood on a voluntary basis. What people prefer now doing is that they wait until there is an emergency before they are called upon to come and donate blood. And we have said that that system of donation is not safe because at a time when there's a need for you to donate blood, at that critical moment, it could be that you may not qualify, you may not be well at the time, or you may be far away from the patient. And when that happens, the patient may lose their life. And so we don't want that to happen. And so we want to call upon people to come out in their numbers and then do the voluntary blood donation, making sure that the blood is always waiting for the patient and not the patient waiting for the blood. In, in terms of volumes, how much are we doing? How much do we have? To say that we are broke, what, what is our current standing in terms of quantity that we have? The point is that we're supposed to supply about 400 and 50 units of blood to hospitals and clinics around us every day, every day. And the point or the fact that we are not able to do so means that there is a challenge. And so we want to um, say that, look, there is the need for constant blood donation. Now, people come or hospitals come with request of let's say about 10 units of blood. We are unable to supply that. Why? Because the blood is not available. But for the National Blood Service, our core mandate is that we make sure that people understand the need for voluntary blood donation so that they will constantly donate blood. This we are doing with the help of our media partners, and we believe that, um, yes, it's about time, you know, that people still understand that, yes, there's a need for blood always. Otherwise, uh, Ghana will suffer. I'll come to ask about the challenges that you've been faced with over the past few years. But... Some people have been saying certain things about the, in terms of donating blood. People have said that they have to pay when they donate blood to you, and on some reasons uh, they've given us uh, the blood has to be screened. Uh, something I want to believe that we've also heard. I mean, do you want to clarify for that for us? Let me clear this fact that nowhere or no one is asked to pay for blood donation. When you are supposed to donate blood, you are not supposed to pay any money. But instead, what is done is that a doctor first has to request that you need blood transfusion. And when that is done, the doctor will give you that prescription form together with your blood sample. Then you take the blood sample to the blood bank where the blood will be screened, what we call the cross-matching. So when that is done, you are required to pay something for that. Because it's like you go to the lab or somewhere, you know, for your own blood check and all that. We need to make sure that the blood that you are going to be given, it matches with your blood group, and that you have to pay. Then after that, when the blood is ready for you to be transfused, you also pay for a processing fee. That doesn't mean that you are buying the blood. You pay for the processing fee, making sure that it's a little fee that we take to make sure that we sustain you know, the blood service, and also to make sure that the blood that we are giving you, it's wholesome. That's all. So We're still live on Joy News today. Let's take a break. When we return, there's a very latest coming from the world of business.